Hey YouTube, what's up and welcome back to tutorial number 25 and in this tutorial I just want to talk to you guys about styling links on your web page. So the first thing you need to know is that uh, w links actually have four different states so you don't actually <laughs> just go ahead and you know just select your normal A tag and then go ahead and write whatever you want your link to be over here and that's what it'll look like okay links have four different states and we use pseudo classes to style every single state so the first state is just the normal what a link looks like by default then the second state is the visited state so if we say a visited okay that would be after we've visited our after we visited that web page what the link is going to look like and then a hover which is pretty much while our mouse is sitting over the over the link how do you want the link to look like and then we've also got a active which is what the link looks like when you're actually clicking down on the link so let's go ahead and you know just save this I'm not gonna style anything in here yet so that all the defaults appear and then we can just go ahead and look at what the defaults look like so if we go back to index.html let's just go ahead and make a link to my YouTube channel so my channel and the href for that would be http www youtube ah, okay <laughs> dot youtube dot com slash user slash Quinton Watt. Okay, so if we save this and run this in Firefox, you can see by default a, a visitor a link that has not been visited is blue and it's underlined by default. But when we go and we hover over it, you can see it actually doesn't change, just the mouse pointer turns into an arrow, I mean a, a hand from an arrow to a hand. And while you're clicking down on it, you can see that the link now changes to be red. And as soon as we let go, we go to my YouTube channel. You know, oh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, and we go back to the my website. Now you can see we visited this link, and the link is now purple. So those are the four different states by default, what they look like. And we can actually go ahead and change this. So go back to your CSS and as you can see by default the link was blue uh, when it was not visited so we can change this maybe to be uh, color orange and text decoration will take the underline away so text decoration none okay then we'll set our visited link which was purple by default we can change that to be green and well yeah we'll just leave it as green and it won't be underlined because it'll inherit the text decoration from the normal link then when we're hovering over our link what color do we want it so we can go ahead and change that color to red and as you remember when we were hovering over our link it didn't actually change the first time round and we'll set the text decoration to underline so that'll bring that underlined um, <laughs> link back and then we can go ahead and change the when it was active remember when we clicked on it when it was active it changed red so now what we can do is maybe just change the color to black and we'll also have the text decoration underlined there okay awesome so if we go ahead and save this and then go back to our our Firefox page over here and we refresh okay by default an unvisit unvisited link was blue and now it should be orange okay but I have visited that link so let me just go ahead and clear my recent history clear hmm okay yeah and now when we refresh as you can see 
by default it's not underlined anymore and it's orange instead of blue and as soon as we hover over it it now becomes red and it's underlined which is actually what it looked like when it was active before we started styling it so I probably shouldn't have made them so similar and now when I click down on the link as you can see it changes to black which is what we set it to be in the CSS and as soon as I let go and we visited my YouTube channel and we go back the text is now green so those are the four different states that you can use to style your link and uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial so I will see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really gonna help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time